In this section, what I'm going is to show you auto constraint command. It is next to fix command. So what I'm going to do is to draw a profile, something like this. And it is an arbitrary shape. So what I'm going to do is select all of the lines right now. They are selected and go and select auto constraint from here or from insert menu, constraint, constraint creation auto constraint here so if I click on this you can see that it says I have found four lines here what do you want to do I want to add some constraint to that so I just ask Katia to do this for me instead of trying to find the constraints myself I click on OK and it says it could find some constraint like this like dimensions that it could add and sometimes angles that it could add here so I have this and I can modify the angles or whatever I want to in this shape. So this is what I can do by auto constraint. So if you press Ctrl Z, what I'm going to do is to make sure that this line is vertical. So I just drag it to right and I know that this is vertical. This one is horizontal because it is already added. And now I select this shape. So I select it and try auto constraint one more time and click on OK it says that yes I could find some verticality here I could find some distances from the you know horizontal vector and some distances from the vertical vector now my shape is fully defined so sometimes you are able to fully define your shape just by using auto constraint but as a matter of fact this is not a tool that I use it most often most often I try to add constraints by myself because that is more convenient and it gives me more control over the shape of the, sh the, the, the geometry that I am creating. So it is just a command there if you wish to use it, but again, I prefer to go to constraint defined dialog box.